Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey with Teaching Online with Kelsey. So please make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell down below for new videos on my channel every week. And also if you are needing further help or you just need someone to write lessons, create thumbnails and edit videos for you for your online teaching business, I'm happy to offer those services through my YouTube memberships. So please check out that down below. I am happy to help online teachers with my channel. And here's what we're actually gonna be doing for this particular video. Uh, as you may have probably guessed by the title of the video, uh, one of the biggest things when you start out as an online teacher is, yes, figuring out your niche and trying your best to stick with that. However, if you are feeling like your niche is not really getting enrollments, or if you're thinking, well, you know, this was, you know, I, I had a, a great class idea, but I'm not really seeing the enrollments. I'm not really seeing the success that I thought I was going to see. This may be your opportunity to pivot. One of the key features of a great online teacher is that we pivot and we adapt. And sometimes we change things to, to help us better in the long run. And one of those things is considering what types of classes to teach online. And what we're actually going to be doing, I'm going to be showing you on my screen here, is we are going to go incognito and we are going to discover together in this video some of the top topics that families are looking for specifically on out school and all school. And as we go investigating basically, we're going to figure out together, you know, what classes are in demand for families. And maybe you already have some good ideas of what may be popular. Maybe some other online teachers have shared their insight, but this will be uh, 2023, the topics that we are seeing that parents are looking for in terms of classes. Now that we have officially switched over, it says you've gone incognito. So we are really going to be mysterious so that way you know it doesn't filter out anything that maybe I'm searching for or anything like that anything wonky this is going to be as is and the first platform that we are going to go class hunting for essentially we are going to do out school so we're going to look on out school and see what kind of classes are going to be in demand so one of the first things that we're going to look for is we're going to look at the popular tab that we see on OutSchool. And this is what's going to help us figure out what classes are in demand. And hopefully you will be able to see in this video as I am walking it through with you, okay, these classes are in demand, you know, and see if you will pivot and adapt to teaching these types of classes on these platforms. So this is the out school portion that I'm going to be showing here. And I'll try my best to do some chapters for like out school and all school teachers. So this is the out school portion first. So let's go to popular. So we have here, there are, there's a huge list. So homeschool, neurodiverse, social clubs, reading, drawing, writing, math, Spanish, Minecraft, Roblox, science, it, you, you see it, you see it, right? Like, these are some of the hottest classes that we see on OutSchool. And this is, this is actually a really good indicator on, you know, what families are actually really looking for. And let's just see, let's just pick one of these tabs here. So let's pick homeschool. Let's see what the homeschool curriculum looks like. And homeschool, let's see, homeschool 2023. That's a good topic to look for. So we see these types of classes here. So homeschool hangout, social group, important. So complete curriculum time for kindergarten and pre-K. So full curriculum classes, kindergarten, pre-K classes, are a big hit right now. 
So full semester meetup, hangouts, music class. So you get the idea. Let's try another topic. Let's try... Da, 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 da. Music classes are popular. So if you're able to do piano or guitar, like you are gonna be a shoe in teacher for out school for sure. Now, Roblox is still popular. And believe it or not, YouTube is popular. Now, does this mean that I personally am gonna offer YouTube classes? I don't know. I've, I've really been on the fence about that for me personally. Um, I mean, yes, I'm monetized and yes, I still create content and even like Crow Music Lab tutorials like for kids, you know, but I've never, I, I've never really thought about like teaching it as like a lesson for kids and being like, this is how you get monetized and this is how you do X, Y, and Z. Like I'm used to teaching littles and like the age group for YouTube is like eight to 12 and you know, I like, I'm not saying I'm unfamiliar, unfamiliar with that age group, but it's just, you know, what would be appropriate to share? What, what would be like, you know, you don't really need to know this information yet. So it's, I've been on the fence about it, me personally. But if you are watching this and maybe you're a monetized content creator and you feel like you would be confident teaching that age group about how YouTube works, go for it. All right, so this is, this is sort of gives us a good idea on what is popular and clicking on one of these. So let's just say, let's do, let's do piano since I said music was, was popular. So, so these are like young beginner piano lots of private piano, beginning piano, ongoing piano. You got plenty of options for piano. A neurodiverse, so neurodiverse learner, so like ADHD, autism. So you got all sorts of different, different classes that you can teach on here. So anti-anxiety calming, improving social skills, important, very important. So obviously one of these topics here can give you a good clue as to what kinds of classes are popular on OutSchool. And generally whatever your niche is going to be around, use this as a good indicator to being like, hmm, if I like to teach ESL or if I like to teach music classes or if I want to teach history you know what's popular on here so let's say history let's say history for a moment we'll click on history so let's say six to nine for history so you got fourth and fifth grade U.S. history, history mystery, weekly history club, so African-American history. And at the time that I'm filming this, it is February, so Black History Month is going to be super popular for OutSchool. So you'll see those types of classes on the OutSchool platform. It seems like I see a lot of U.S. history classes. And not to say that all the other topics wouldn't be, but this is just... As you can see with me, these are the popular classes that are on OutSchool. And that's just one of those examples. So as we can see here, if we go to art, we're going to see, you know, we're going to see the same thing. Let's, you know, make it a little lower. So art history, rainbows, art club, Black History Month. I'm also starting to see resurface like Montessori classes and you know I thought that was fascinating so oh there's a little tidbit here saying why take an online art class so 
that's a nice little tidbit on here. So, but I mean, there's also a lot of other evergreen topics on here too. So dance like Merida, so Scottish dances. And art across the USA. And then St. Patrick's Day, we're already seeing St. Patrick's Day stuff. So like, you see like, it's one of those things that if you're wanting to know what sells, and I mean, you know, you do see like in short videos from other online teachers, like this topic, this topic, but like going a step further to seeing what's, what classes parents are signing up for, leaving great reviews on, you know, that's also going to give you even deeper insight into seeing, okay, these types of classes, you know, or what families are looking for. Because sometimes if you hear just YouTube, or if you hear guitar, or if you hear ESL, you know, it's great and all, but maybe there is a great need for like beginner ESL as opposed to intermediate or advanced ESL. Or there may be a need for more intermediate piano or guitar, but all we see is beginner, 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 you know, so like really do some research to see it's like okay this topic is popular but i'm seeing a lot of these types of classes what's something that i could offer that could be a benefit so this is what you would do for the out school side of things so now this is part two of the investigative video that we're doing and this is going to be for the all school side of things so just so you know, um, this is where I'm still incognito, as you can see here, and we're just going to see what the all school side of things uh, looks like in terms of, you know, comparing to out school. Because I know, like, for all school and out school, even though they run very similarly, they're going to look just a little bit different. So let's discover together how different they look. So allschool.com so I love going incognito does, does anyone else ever go incognito for things <laughs> so let's see here so it's weird it's February and we're still doing Christmas specials uh oh all school I have time to change that so let's look here find classes so or explore classes let's explore the classes together so as we are going to see here as soon as we open up the page we're going to be discovering what what these classes are so these are the top classes so far on the all school platform so it looks like tefl let's be clean that looks like life skills life skills it doesn't necessarily say english it just says life skills and one time so maybe just a general hygiene class one-on-one -on -one english 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 oh that's music but it says let's learn english songs english english so as you can see on here for the all school platform this is where this is a very stark contrast compared to the out school platform where out school we saw you know there was a clear need for youtube there was a clear need for arts neurodiverse learners and music like we saw that clear definition but in all schools defense it is still a relatively young platform and because it's based off of Singapore, we are still gonna see a lot of families that are from the other side of the globe. So there are there is going to be a bigger need for ESL classes. So probably many of you that teach on the all school platform probably taught on VIP Kid or Cambly or Q Kids or Palfish or any other ESL platform. And you are wanting the benefits of out school, but still wanting to teach ESL lessons. So 
this is where I feel like personally, if you are able to continue teaching ESL lessons at, for all levels, essentially, then all school may actually be your better bet in terms of trying to offer up more ESL classes. And it's not to say, it's not to say at all, if you have a class that is supposed to be designed for native speakers to not offer it, just know that you run the risk of running into families that are not, you know, are not English speakers, like native English speakers, and that you may have to scaffold and you may have to accommodate for learners that don't speak perfect English. <laughs> so just keep that in mind, because even though I made it pretty clear in my class that, you know, this is supposed to be for native speakers, I still get ESL learners. And because I taught on VIP Kid before, I just scaffold and I adapt. It works out fine in the end. And it, it almost turns out for my classes that I do offer on there that I, you know, that I would actually, you know, end up doing it ESL style anyways, you know, compared to how I would do it on out school where I would have like four or five year olds be like, but this planet and this and this is it. So just to, just to keep that in mind, uh, knowing that maybe if you were trying to sign up uh, to be a teacher on all school and you were trying to offer like these types of classes, you know, like I know I tried to open up a Chrome Music Lab class on all school and I only got one class and like so many learners and you know, and it's not really a popular class. And, and I think it's just because this is the population on all school. And, and that's fine, that's okay. So, but seeing it from incognito perspective should help you get a good perspective on, you know, what types of classes you should offer on each platform, whether it be on out school or all school. And ideally this is for teachers who wanna teach group classes. Now, if you do private tutoring, obviously that's gonna be a whole other different thing. So, you know, but it is really interesting. Like even for the native speakers that I see on here, there's still a lot of English classes on here. So I don't know, I, I find that really fascinating uh, for sure. So, and I got in a mix of like native English speakers in, in my classes and then also ESL speakers. So possibilities are endless when it comes to that. So lots of English, lots of English. So all I'm saying is it just looks like a lot of classes on here on demand are for English speakers. And it's really fascinating. So English, English. So ESL teachers, all school may be actually your platform to offer up lessons on there. And yes, I can teach, or not, not teach, or not teach. I mean, I can teach ESL, but like, if you're, if you're needing custom made lessons and you don't have time to write them, I can write those lessons too. So again, some of you took memberships. And you may have noticed like, like even with me being an incognito, like, I didn't even really see any of my classes on there. And honestly, I I have not put myself out there like readily available to teach on out school as much and that's intentional and I and it's just because my life is uh shifting a little bit and I want to be able to help you guys out. So, if writing lessons is what's standing in the way of you being an online teacher, like let me help you in that. Like if you need an intro video edited to where it looks nice and parents are like, yeah, I wanna take a class with them. Or if you need help with your thumbnail or if you, you know, all of it, like I wanna be able to help you with that. And did you know with my YouTube memberships, like you get one free lesson a month and even one free thumbnail and one edited intro video. Did you know that? 
especially if you've gotten this far into the video. I'm just saying. But I'm gonna keep this, uh, I'm gonna cut this off here. And I just, I, I really like, the purpose for this video is for just us to go exploring together, just to see, you know, from the incognito perspective, classes that are popular on platforms such as OutSchool and All School, And hopefully doing this walkthrough with me will help inspire you to figure out what kind of classes you want to teach on the platform and maybe for you maybe this can be a time for you to realize okay maybe these classes aren't working for me but what's happening here you know on the platform maybe i should adjust my niche a little bit and try to see if i could sell these classes i mean you just never know what may come of it so maybe it's time maybe it's time for you to to adapt and and to change to see what you can offer for your classes. So if you've gotten to this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. If you have any other suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to do that. Or if you want me to do more lives, I can, I can do more lives, you know, whatever that may be, whatever that may look like, you know, would it be all school, would it be out school, would it be online teaching, would it be bumping along those lines? you know, let me know. And I'm also slowly releasing videos that I'm, that only people in my memberships can see. So another initiative <laughs> to join in on my membership. So that way you can get the full benefits and I want to be able to serve you. So that's why I'm really excited to be like really promoting the memberships and offering to be like a curriculum writer for you all. So so, but thanks so much for exploring with me. And if you have any other questions, like I said, leave a comment down below. And thanks so much for watching. And see you next time.